Feels, I always feel like I'm new to the industry. I feel like I'm always learning things and like things are still new to me all the time. So, um, but like thinking back, like it's been, it's been like seven years and that is forever, I guess, in music. So, so yeah, so I mean, it's been good. It's been really cool. And like, I've, I've still, like I said, I still feel like I'm learning things. I'm still feel like I'm new to it. But I think it's really important to keep that though. Like, yeah, thanks. That's as soon true. as people feel they're established, that's when you start stagnating. True. Yeah, that's very true. And things I think can maybe go downhill, but um, <laughs> So like, so when I think about like how I got started, I feel like it was like just the other day kind of thing, where um, I grew up in Cape Town in a little like a small little town, little suburb called Fishhook or Sun Valley, which is inside of Fishhook, and um, things are super quiet there. So I always knew that like I wanted to get out of Fishhook eventually yeah. when I when I finished school. I knew that, that like I just needed to get out because I wanted to explore more and just kind of learn more, open my mind a bit more. And luckily, or thankfully, I'm super grateful that music was the thing that did that for me. So I always loved music, but I didn't know like if that, that it was a thing that I needed to pursue or I wanted to pursue as yeah. like a career and a full-time thing. What sparked the like, initial interest? Was it a family member? Yeah, it was. Friend? Yeah, a family member. Yeah, so it was my dad, actually. I mean, my family wasn't ever super musical, but my father would play guitar and just, just kind of for fun. That's, all he, that's what he would do a lot of the time when I was growing up at home. Yeah. So then eventually I was kind of like, please, can you teach me how to do this? Because it seems really cool. It looks like fun. <laughs> and like very chill, very relaxed. He taught me a, like a bit of guitar. He taught me some chords. Well, I, what kind so of music was he into? He was into like, it was all like gospel kind of stuff. So it, was, it wasn't like like the Beatles and the stuff that like I, I sometimes wish that I did grow up listening to like the old time classics. Yeah. Like the Beatles or like Led Zeppelin, that kind of thing. But um, it wasn't anything like that. It was always like gospel stuff that I don't even... I don't even remember. It was like <laughs> stuff that no one even knows, which is cool because then like they were kind of just open to whatever I want to listen to, I can listen to. That's just all they kind of had playing. That, in that's something to be thankful for. Totally, totally. <laughs> so it's like at least like they were supportive and they just kind of let, let me kind of go where I wanted to go and just explore where, where I wanted to explore. Mm. So yeah, so that was cool. That's kind of how I, how I got started really. So he kind of introduced me to that, let, let it kind of unfold for myself which it really did because I loved it and then um, and yeah so that was during the last few years of school and then I knew that I wanted to get out get out of Fisher get out of that the little bubble that was there and then during that time I was my love for music was growing and then like after school I just I knew that I had to somehow go in the direction of something that was creative hopefully something that involved music because yeah. That's what I loved, but I didn't know that it was something you could just kind of pursue. I didn't think you could finish school and then say, okay, now I want to be a musician, so I'm going to go do that. Yeah. Like, I didn't think it worked like that. So, yeah, I feel like I was fortunate with like the opportunities and stuff that came my way. That's amazing.